tell us how you got to online dating. Okay. My first experience with online dating was after my, my first marriage of 30 years fell apart and I started online dating. And then it was, that was a positive result because I found my second husband on match.com. How did you decide to go online and how did that work for you? I was over 50 and it's not that easy to find people, right? I tried a few different things. I think I tried eHarmony. I tried match. I tried one of the other back then. And I ended up finding Jim on match that particular weekend we were talking my uh, sink drain I had to have it all taken apart I couldn't find the parts and our first date was he showed up with a handyman and fixed my sink <laughs> Smart man, <laughs> uh, fabulous and you were with him for how long 12 and a half years total he died suddenly of a widowmaker heart attack I thought I was ready probably a little less than two years after what happened that made you think that's okay I'm ready to get back in the game again well I was lonely you know, I wanted love in my life. I met my second husband. I thought it would be okay to, to go online again, you know, and it felt comfortable. And I really thought that was the best way to meet people because at least then you get to see something about their profile and their personality and their picture before you actually meet them. Yes. And then there's filtering, right? Because so for a while you talk or text or email and you can figure out whether or not the personality might make sense. And then after a while you talk on the phone and if that goes well, then you might meet in person. You know, there's all these filters, right? So, and then mm -hmm. by then, usually in one or two dates, you can tell in person whether it's no good. So I figured it felt natural to me. I had met my first husband on Match. What I didn't realize, and in hindsight, um, I was targeted as a widow. I was targeted by an expert as a widow. I was only on Match maybe oh. two weeks. Okay. And this guy came along, very charming, very handsome younger than me, um, and I'm high energy. So that felt all yes. natural, right? <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. And um, I just decided, I said, okay, well, you know, again, looking back at it in hindsight, this guy got me to fall in love with him. Mm -hmm. We did several video calls. He was supposedly a half an hour from me. I checked out the address. It existed. He had this job he had to go to uh, within a week. And so we didn't meet in person. We just kept talking. I became the victim of a romance scam. This went on for two years and he disappeared. And Look when I talked to an expert later, mm -hmm. she told me I was the victim of a global crime syndicate. What kind of things would you suggest a person do if they have any question whatsoever about whether this is a legitimate person or not? It's hard when you're in the throes of really being lonely and wanting yeah. to have love exactly. to be too skeptical and suspicious because you want it for yourself so badly. So well, if you'd you also have been successful before. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I met my last, my second husband on match, yes, so I wasn't absolutely. suspicious of this. And the, the publicity was not out yet about scams. Don't give anybody money. Yeah. And second of all, um, just find a way to prove it and find a way to meet them in person. And if they're not meeting in person after a reasonable amount of time, you know, be very, good. very suspicious. Yeah. Yeah. And unfortunately, what I find is that you don't listen when you're in too deep, especially if what's happening is that you're in love. And I was absolutely in love. Did you date again online? Now yes. Was, so, so I finally got past that. It took me a couple of years to get back into it. I decided to go back on and I set a radius, a 50 mile radius, but this one gentleman, um, Barry from upstate New York expressed an interest from outside of that. There's a way to do that. And by the way, isn't a four hour drive kind of far. And he, he gave me a charming answer about not putting a distance barometer on the love of a good woman. We started dating and uh, we still are. We're we're doing very well. Have you met him in person yet? Yes. Oh, yes. Multiple times. <laughs> oh, great. We did the FaceTime thing for about a month or so. And then we spent, yeah, then we met in person and ended up spending a couple of weekends together. And I decided I would write a book on widows dating because, you know, I like to write and I try to figure out my life and it's lonely. I decided to go online and Frank was the second person I met online and I oh, wow. met him in person right away. Lucky me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, so we have a great relationship. I have a lot of uh, good things to say about online dating, but I think, you know, you bring up such I important I think you point. bring a real reality that you have to be a really good consumer. You've got to really be careful and check if people are out. And I know, you know, like you said, once you're really involved with someone and you really like them, you don't want to necessarily get any bad news. But bad news is really helpful and it can save you a lot. And that you stayed in there. It.